Hello again and welcome to the vlog for week 38 in the course 1DV525 Introduction to Web Programming. Um, it's only been a few days since the last vlog, uh, but I think I will try to get back on track on, on, on having Friday vlogs from now on. Uh, and uh, there is actually one thing that I forgot to mention in the last vlog, and that was the activity control uh, uh, that we have in the course. Uh, you're probably, if you have taken courses uh, at Linus University before, you're probably used to this. But for those of you who are new, it's good to know that after three weeks in a course, we are obliged to, to make a, a, an a activity control. and deregister students that are not active in the course. Uh, and that is basically what we have done this week. Uh, I posted uh, a message about this a couple of days ago. Uh, it's, it's not a big thing. It's that you should have made one commit and pushed that to GitHub in any, any one of, of the, the repositories that you that were given to you. And, and most of you have done this. Uh, you had to do this to get GitHub pages activated. So, so if you got your uh, GitHub pages activated, this was already done. Uh, but there are a few students, like four, that I have deregistered from the course. And if you are still active, uh, you should first of all start working because if you haven't done any commit and it's now three weeks into the course, that's a third of the course, uh, and you have not made a single commit yet, then ooh, you're probably in, 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 in trouble. Uh, you, you need to step up, you need to work this weekend, you need to uh, st start working hard basically. Um, but if you think that you have been deregistered on, on a wrong wrong wrong, then contact me and I will make sure that you get re-registered re again. Um, so, where are we in the course? So this week uh, we had two lectures. Uh, we had JavaScript in the browser, the first lecture of getting started with JavaScript inside of the browser. And we have had the DOM lecture to learning about working with the document object model, the API in the browser, the JavaScript API, the, the way for JavaScript to control the flow and uh, style of the page. Uh, working with the DOM is totally essential uh, for working with JavaScript in the browser. That is like, the DOM is, it's not, it's not a good API, but it's the API that we got. Uh, so, so we need to, 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 to kind of uh, uh, use it as the best we can. Uh, I've been starting to talking about custom elements and custom elements is still relatively new, uh, maybe not used too much yet uh, and together with Shadow DOM, uh, but I think that the, the uh, we will start using this more and more and more in web development because it gives us an opportunity to modulize uh, our code in a much better way than before. Um, you should have watched those two lectures by now. Um, you should have, uh, yeah, well, we, before we can start by, before we do that, we can have a look at, I will do this one instead. We could have a look at the course webpage and look at part one. So part one is, finishes today. I think the deadline for uh, examination one is tomorrow actually. You have until 12 tomorrow and I could actually give you all weekend. <laughs> I will not start uh, correcting examination one on, on Sunday. So so uh, it, it's fine. You can read this as uh, 2019-09-22. Um, but make sure that you, you, you finish the first ex uh, examination assignment before Sunday. Um, if you don't, you can just hand it in whenever you like after that date. However, we will, I cannot guarantee that we will uh, examinate your assignment the next week if you don't meet the deadline. So, but, but if, you, if, you, if you turn it in late, it's the same, uh, same grades and everything that applies, and that is pass and fail. So, so, so I mean, there is no, no penalty in, in being late more than we will maybe take a little bit extra time to uh, 
uh, have a look at the, the, that assignment. Uh, you will get feedback on the assignment inside of your repository. So if you visit, visit your repository, we will, we will give feedback as an issue on that repository. Uh, if you have your mail hooked up to GitHub, you will probably also get a notification on mail that you have a new issue on your repository. Even if it's not an issue, maybe you, are, you pass the examination, we will still set it as an issue. Uh, and you can close that one when you, you have read it. Uh, if, if you need to, to change something, if you do need to do some complementary work on your uh, assignment, uh, we will say that in the issue and we can have a discussion about that inside of GitHub. So that is how you will know if you pass or fail, basically. So if you're late, that's fine, but don't count on us uh, uh, looking at it uh, starting next week. That finishes the first, uh, first part of the course and we're now on the second part, the client-side JavaScript. Um, what you should have started with this week is the exercises. Uh, I talked about those uh, in, in the last vlog. I have recorded a new getting started guide that was released earlier this week. Uh, there was nothing wrong with the, with the last uh, getting started guide more than that we have changed from using uh, uh, node modules with the require keyword to using ECMAScript modules. Uh, and in this one, I am using ECMAScript modules, basically. But the, the way you work with the uh, exercises is still exactly the same. The exercises are not mandatory. Uh, you can do, do them if you like, you don't need to do them, but I recommend you doing them because they will teach you a lot of things that you need to know, know for the examination assignment. Uh, yeah, and I've written a note here and I want to clarify this. So, so we are switching to ECMAScript modules. I have a lot of demos. I have like, uh, for instance, what could we take? I have the BART board somewhere, this one. I have two recordings uh, on that one. They are quite lengthy. Um, let's see, whoops, like that. So this one is 50 minutes. Uh, this one is probably yet another 50 minutes, yeah. Oh, wearing the same, looks like. That is strange. Uh, well, <laughs> um, it will take me some time to re-record all of those demos just to change out using ECMAScript modules instead of Node modules. It's a really subtle change. It's it's basically another way of exporting and importing the modules. It doesn't matter for the logic of the code, the logic of the code, the working with the DOM, everything is exactly the same. It's just how we load the modules that, that differ. And that is why I've written this. So, so be sure that, I mean, even though I use require in the demos, you're not supposed to use require. You're supposed to use import instead. You could probably get required to work as long as you're not using uh, uh, modules inside of your HTML file, because then Webpack will rebuild those required modules and serve them as, as, as one single file to the browser. However, I, I, I think we should get used to the, the, the notion of working with ECMAScript modules instead of Node modules. Uh, we will probably see that in not a too long distant future, we will probably start working with ECMAScript modules on the server as well. Uh, on the server right now, require is the preferred way of doing it. However, I guess in the future, ECMAScript modules will rule even the server. So just a quick note about that. Um, if, if you do the examination assignment using require, that's fine. We will not like, you will not fail because you're using require instead of uh, import that 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 doesn't matter. However, it's much much easier to use import instead of or ECMAScript modules instead of Node modules. Um, yeah, that's that. Uh, please, please, please start working with exercises. If you haven't started yet, oh, it's really time. You should. I think if you you should have the 
pace of the course, you should probably have done Tiny Tunes by now. You should probably start working on Ellen Hewitt or maybe Bartboard somewhere in that vicinity. Um, you should probably also next week start working with the examination assignment. Uh, it's getting, we're getting there slowly. You have, what is it, two weeks or something like that to finish this one. It could take some time, so please start. I just need to make sure that the server is actually answering. We had some problems with some of the servers. Yep, yeah, it is. Perfect. Uh, so it works. Um, I will not say anything about this this vlog. Maybe we will have a deeper discussion next vlog, but it's, it's pretty clear what you're supposed to do in this one, actually. It's a quiz, and the questions for the quiz you will get from a server somewhere. Uh, you should not make up your own questions. You should fetch questions from the server, sending back the, the, the answer that the user answers, and then the server will tell the browser, was this a correct answer or a false one, and you will uh, do different things depending on the answer, basically. Um, so, so at least, even, even if you're working with, uh, with the exercises, please go ahead and, and just read the instructions for uh, the, the assignment. Uh, it, it's time for that, actually. Next week, two lectures. Uh, I will not come to Vecco next week either. Uh, it will, however, you see that this one is from 2016 with an added part last year. Maybe I will do a re-recording of this one. However, this one is still valid with the, the, the update I did last year. So, so, so if you're working ahead, please go ahead. It's, it's, it's nothing wrong in this one. Um, the async programming part, it's from 2017. This one is probably good as it is. I haven't watched this one yet, I will. Uh, and, and if there are any problems with it, I will um, uh, re-record it. Observe, even in the lectures, maybe if they are from 2017, I'm probably using node modules. But as I said, doesn't matter for the logic of the code. It's just, just, just how we load the modules. Uh, so those are the, the things that you are supposed to watch during next week. The week after that, I will actually add to the schedule, and I saw it wasn't in the schedule right now, but I will add a peer instruction for the second part, and then I will come to Vecqua, because that is mainly a campus activity, even though we will also make it work for those of you taking this course on distance. Um, Please use the tutoring sessions. We had a session this morning. Uh, I had one question on uh, in Slack over distance. Uh, I saw that there are some questions in Slack that I hasn't answered that came afterwards. I will try to 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 work my way through them this afternoon. Uh, on campus, it was really really low key. It was five students, I think, and two two teacher assistants. So they. The, those five students, I get, guess that they, they got quite a good service. So please show up on campus if you if you need help. Uh, by that, I just want to wish you all a pleasant weekend. Uh, if you are behind in the course, I would actually recommend not having a too pleasant weekend uh, and instead start working really, really hard because lagging behind too much in this course has turned out uh, in my experience it's it's hard if you get behind because you have a lot of things to get through so please start working now if you haven't okay have a nice weekend everybody <laughs>